a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm your host, Lorelai Suarez, and today we sit down with right tackle and O-lineman Austin Howard. Austin, thanks for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Now, we, before we begin, I just saw the cutest picture on Twitter of your family out trick-or-treating. Tell me how that experience was for your daughter's first time. Right. It was her first time trick-or-treating. Um, she was Baby Elmo, my wife was Big Bird, and I was Oscar the Grouch at a trash can and everything. Uh, my wife comes up with these themes every year. Uh, my first, actually two years ago, um, when our daughter was very little, we didn't really go trick-or-treating, but we still had the costumes for pictures and stuff. Uh, she made costumes, and she was a Frosted Flakes box, <laughs> and she had the baby Bjorn, and my daughter was Tony the Tiger, so she sat on the cereal box, you know? Yeah. So, and then I was a carton of milk, so that was kind of our theme last year, and this year was Sesame Street, so uh, we had a really good time doing it. Impressive. Now, speaking about family, you come from a big one, one of four, one of five siblings, actually. What was it like growing up in Iowa in such a big family unit? Right, well, it was uh, chaotic at times, you know, two boys, two girls, three, three boys and two girls. But uh, being the youngest of five, I feel very blessed because I was able to, to watch my older siblings and learn from them, uh, learn how they did the right things and the wrong things, you know, what to do and what not to do. So uh, that was always a, a good thing for me. Um, that really helped me uh, grow mature as I got older myself. So how big a role did sports play in your childhood? Oh, it was huge. My, my, uh, my brothers were always athletes. I looked up to them since I was, you know, born, since I can remember, really. And, uh, you know, seeing them uh, have success in basketball and football, and then my older brother, Marcel, playing his collegiate years at Iowa State, you know, had a, had a little time in the NFL. Uh, watching him have that success really prompted me to want to, to wanna be like him, and I had aspirations to kind of meet the success that level that he did. Now, much like you looked up to your older brothers, many of our viewers are young, aspiring athletes who look up to players like you. Now, what is some advice you'd give to those athletes about making the decision now and the habits they need to form in order to be their best and perhaps get to the pros? Right. So one thing I learned as a young kid was uh, you can't always do what everyone else does. You can't always, uh, you know, you want to go out on a Friday night or you want to hang out and play video games. You know, you kind of have to set those disciplinary bounds. Um, very young, I learned, um, if you want to be different. You know, not everybody can make it to this league. It's very, it's a huge blessing. And I think they say less than 2% of the world uh, has this opportunity. So you really have to set yourself apart uh, in that aspect as well. Uh, you can't be afraid to fail. You know, go out there and, and try to achieve you know, reach for the stars. Uh, there's so much out there. There's so much uh, potential that these young kids have. They just can't be afraid to fail. I mean, failure builds a character. And after many failures, I've learned that uh, that's, that's just helped me succeed each and every year that I've gone forward. I couldn't agree with you more. Now, it's your third year with the Raiders, and the team is doing phenomenal. So in one word, if you can describe why your team has become so successful, what would it be? Uh, one word that we focus on as a team right now is grit. Uh, going out there and no matter the weather, no matter the score, I mean, gosh, this is the NFL, so uh, there's injuries, you know, there's things that just don't go our way every down all the time, obviously, but it's having that, that grit, that, that wants you to go out there and uh, just keep going and doing everything that we can to win those games and to stay as a team and to collectively uh, do the best that we can do because no matter what the score is, no matter what's going on on the field, uh, we control what we do next. We control that next play, that next step. So uh, I think that we showed that very well, especially last week, going into five, uh, five quarters of the overtime game and uh, just having that grit, that grit to, to want to win the game. Grit, not being afraid to fail, poignant words. Thank you so much for taking the time. Awesome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Until next week, this has been Lorelai Suarez with Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for tuning in.